Tens of thousands of Georgians massed outside Parliament Monday night, demanding the annulment of the weekend parliamentary election that the president denounced as rigged with the help of Russia. The rally deepened the political crisis in the South Caucasus country, where the governing Georgian Dream Party has become increasingly authoritarian and tilted toward Moscow. We have to create the full picture how this unique, unprecedented theft happened which was conducted in mass and systematically which was a pre-planned huge operation that stole our votes, that stole the parliament from us and stole the constitution, President Salome Zurabishvili told the demonstrators who waved Georgian and European Union flags. Zurabishvili, a mostly ceremonial president, told the crowd that she would defend the country's path toward Europe against actions by the Georgian dream. Nesha Chachava, who was wrapped in the Georgian flag, said the demonstrators, don't want Russia, we don't want to back to Russia or back to the Soviet Union. Student Lana Toganids, 20, called the demonstration the last hope to save our democracy in this country. The US and the European Union urged full investigations of the result of Saturday's election. Uh, I think uh, Europe will be more clear to support us and uh, we hope we will win finally and the Russian dream will go home in Russia, in Moscow <laughs> and we will be part of European Union. We are here because we don't want Russia, we don't want back to Russia, we don't want back to Soviet Union. And um, Georgia is pro-European country and um, I don't know, like people are, people are upset because election, it's obvious that election was rigged. So uh, I hope that something will be changed and uh, all these people, they want, they don't want back to Russia, yeah. Because this is our last hope to save our democracy in this country. Our elections have been rigged and if we don't succeed in this fight, our country will be handed over to Russia and we're not ready to give that up.
The spokesman of the Russian President Dmitry Peskov has rejected accusations of interference in the parliamentary election held in Georgia on October 26. Georgia's president on Monday urged the West to support the opposition protests against the official results of the weekend election, in which the governing party was declared victorious amid voting irregularities and allegations of Russian meddling. We aren't meddling in Georgia's internal affairs, and we have no intention of meddling, Kremlin spokesman Peskov said, instead accusing the West of influencing the outcome of the vote. Asked about Zurabishvili's call for the Georgians to join protests, he described it as an attempt to destabilize the situation in the country. Georgian President Salome Zurabishvili, who refused to recognize the official results, told the Associated Press in an interview that the South Caucasus nation has fallen victim to Russian pressure aimed at derailing its plans to join the European Union. We've seen that Russian propaganda was directly used, said Zurabishvili, a fierce critic of the governing party. She said Georgia's government has been working hand in hand with Russia and probably had help from the Russian security services. Внутри грузинской. 